Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk about using stone and slopes in an aquascape on a budget. If you watch the ADA videos, you realize that their solution is simple. They just stack stone to the height they want, then fill it with substrate. Um, however, the, it can be costly if you, especially if you live in an area where sh stone has to be shipped to you. And even smaller aquascapes can require quite a bit of stone to get the height or effect that you want. On this 6 gallon tank for example, the main stone on the right is actually about 4 inches off from the glass bottom of the tank. So I could have either stacked the 4 inches of rock beneath it um, and then I have to manage some way to fill in the substrate on top of that. Or in this case, I use garden crate to support the stones instead. They sell these things in garden shops as drainage cells to lift pots off the ground for better drainage. They come in large pieces and are very cheap and strong and they allow substrate to be filled beneath it as well so you can plant stuff on the slopes after that. I usually even place the stones that are supposed to be sitting on the substrate on the grid as well so that they do not sink into the substrate over time. Using different tiers of grid for each stone allows you to customize the height and position of each stone more accurately. This is the rock work of the limestone arcscape before soil has been introduced. Rather than stacking stones beneath it, it is supported by crate that has been cable tied together. Besides saving costs on stone, the other advantage of this approach is that it allows you to keep tweaking your hardscape without committing to adding your substrate as a supporting underlayer. Eventually, after the substrate is added, the grid also prevents the smaller stones from sinking into the substrate. If you are using heavier stones in an aquascape, you will need some sort of supporting structure below be it stones or grit to prevent it from sinking into the substrate over time. The same grit can be used to hold back steep slopes to a certain extent. Demonstrating the same concept on a 3 feet planted tank. With relatively little stone, one can give the impression of a substantial hardscape. With that, I've come to the end of this short instructional video. Have fun guys! <laughs>